Hello everybody, welcome back. And I hope you guys are having fun with Valentine's Day and I want to talk about Stellar Blade. I know Stellar Blade is most likely PS5 exclusive, but I'd like to talk about that. Before we get into the juicy stuff, let's talk about how long it will run. At the time of this upload, I found a Dexerto article suggesting how long Stellar Blade is going to run. So let's read it. Oh. Ow. I'm on it. Leave these guys to me. Shit. I think they've been after us the whole time. I don't want the FTC like my unauthorized access. The FTC? What are you talking about? I'm hacking into their secret service. Here it is. This is actually published last week at the time of this upload, right? Uh, now let's get to the juicy stuff. All right, here it is. How long is Stellar Blade main story runs? It says right here, the main story expected to run roughly 25 hours. This is from the CEO, Hyung Tae Kim or Kim Hyung Tae. I don't know how you pronounce it at the Korean outlet, Ruli Web. That's a nice name, catchy. Obviously, worth taking, obviously it's worth taking a grain of salt because it's not confirmed yet. Now let's see the completionist. Completionist runs of Stellar Blade is expected to take you anywhere between 30 to 50 hours. And this is also coming from the publisher CEO. But of course, the mileage may vary once the game hits store shelves. And it says here from side mission to optional challenge skills to upgrade areas to scavenge that sh there sure is plenty content keep players hooked in well after the main story winds down and it appears though we can expect double our playing time with bonus content okay uh let's talk about that one wow 20 hours that's a long stuff i mean if you see marvel spider-man they have what the bare minimum is what 15 hours to complete i could be wrong i believe it's 15 hours i mean how long did you take when you play Marvel Spider-Man 2. I mean, do you take more than 15 hours? Now, I don't know about Suicide Squad, similar to this, but I'm not going to get into that. I think we have to know what's the setting first, because when it says roughly 30 to 50 hours for completionist and 20 hours for the main story. If you don't read the description for the game, it says a girl who is fighting to take back her home from the alien invasion. Remember, this is a post-apocalyptic world. So when it's post-apocalypse, you have to know that there's many places for you to scavenge. You have you can explore different places, which I have to assume this has to be open world based on the trailers. Why don't we check on it first and we'll get into the controversy soon. Okay. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth. I know I'm making this into a reaction or anything. Let me point out, if you heard that right, that is what it says, post-apocalyptic Earth. Remember, Earth, because when it's like that, you have plenty of places to go. You can jump through buildings, which I hope you can do that. Man, I, if this thing sells well, I'm going to buy it. Seriously, I'm going to buy it too. Now, let's look at gameplay footage. Uh, we're going to have to skip a bit. Don't worry. And I'll leave the original link in the description down below. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. A whole city underneath the wasteland. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will Angel, gradually loosen up as Eve shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister! Wait right here! 
Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. This place has been overrun by Nativas. and malfunctioning machines and robots. As you can see how the combat works, there's a lot of places to go through. And like it says, the NPC will be wary of the main characters and probably it will gradually increase the trust. And now let's get into what appears to be, well, let's just say what many woke idiots have complained about. Like for example, if you see again, I'm pretty much certain you've seen the trailer. You should know that she is a bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Scantily clad or anything, but, uh, what's the word? I mean, I know that's another, that's one word. I mean, what the word, the one word that these woke idiots try to name it? Uh, what was it? Masculinity? No, not that. But, you know, whatever. I have to assume these woke idiots have never met a girl before. I mean, what do you guys think? Do these woke people have socialized themselves? Yes, I have to assume some of them have. Or perhaps they were bullied or discriminate in their childhood life and that's why they hate this game. And seriously, many common, many content creators is calling this out. I mean, take a look what happened in Crunchyroll. Asmongold just punched through the Crunchyroll CEO. No mercy for that. But Stellabrate takes it to the whole new level and woke journalists really couldn't do anything about it because you don't know, two employee was fired for feminism. The gamers praise the devs. This is something we should be seeing. Not everybody can stand up to these woke idiots. Like for example, those who did is Sean Strickland, UFC, Dana White, UFC president, Elon Musk. Now, I don't know if Javier Malay did stand up to woke. I could be wrong. Now in video game, some Japanese companies are now rejecting woke. Well, except for Capcom. I think Capcom played both sides. But then again, that's not for me to judge. If you don't know, I think so far, based on my research so far, I, I don't know if they're going to review bomb it. Then again, if this did not get into the woke standard, I mean, it's still gonna sell well. I mean, take a look at what? Hogwarts Legacy. Despite its boycott or anything, how many copies that sold? That's amazing. In this channel, I would like to say that it doesn't matter whether you are gay, you are LGBT, or perhaps even you're black, you're African, or anything. I don't mind. I mean, you guys can come over in my channel and watch my videos anytime you want. I won't ban you, but the one thing I don't want is people whining about not having their media or perhaps any video game woke or even pushing or, or even trying to push an agenda like the woke stuff. This is why we'll divide people. It may not be yet, but right now it's going through Hollywood and now TV show and now it's coming to video games. Insomniac and Rocksteady is already the first one. And right now, many Japanese companies are probably aware of this and they're still debating. I'm not sure about Capcom. I have to replay all the Capcom games, but I have to assume most Capcom games is still same as I remembered or perhaps any gamer remembers. Well, a bit minor changes, but doesn't matter as long as those woke idiots stay away from those Capcom games. I'm okay with it. What do you guys think? I mean, are you guys excited for Stellar Blade? Let me know. Leave a like and subscribe. And also remember, divided by status, united by humanity. Remember that. And also relevant content in, is in the description down below as well, including the original trailer. If you guys have watched it or if you guys haven't watched it.